Mr Speaker. Madam Fox. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, there was one reason I came to Parliament, one reason only, and that is to improve the lot of our children in this country. When I considered the place of our, uh, specifically Tamariki Māori uh, in New Zealand, before coming into this uh, Parliament, it was in a state of emergency that our children suffered under poverty. It is still there, it has not been rectified, and we must do more to alleviate the hardship for children. Now, I have listened in this House to people stand up and blame each other for why we are in this situation. But you know what, Mr Speaker? Left wing, right wing, same bird. It's time for a new bird. It's time for an independent voice. Because an independent voice will tell you that Māori tamariki need to have a specific targeted response to the issues that they are facing. And they might be, might be called race-based interventions by some people in this House, but actually that is putting a targeted response at the area that is most needed. Now, we have a ministry called the Ministry of Vulnerable Children, Oranga Tamariki. Those two terms are an oxymoron. They actually are combative to each other. And if Bishop and Berryman didn't teach us anything, surely they taught us that we need to stop talking about ourselves in deficit language. I want to work with the government to ensure that the new model and operating model for the SIFS reform is done in a way that will enhance and better the placement of our tamariki, but we must be careful, Mr Speaker, be careful not to repeat the mistakes of the past, not to simply take away children and place them somewhere else and create a whole new stolen generation. If we do not think that identity, language and culture is important to the placement of those children, we are not listening. Yes, we must put the child at the heart of the solution. But all that is encompassed in ensuring that that child is supported means they have to know their identity. Now, those, uh, those provisions in the current Act were hard fought for. They were hard debated. And that our Māori whānau have said, if we alienate our children from uh, the knowledge of who they are, the knowledge of who their tribe is, the knowledge of how their people came to be where they are today, then we are not helping helping the situation. We are not setting them up for a brightness of hope for their future. We are further adding to the pain and despair of those children for no reason of their own have been placed in state care and the state has uh, come in and they have another double jeopardy because they have been continued to be abused in our state care. We know that we're trying to fix it. I'm asking the government to be careful don't come with dad, meaning we decide, and then we spend all our time arguing and defending our decision. Come with Eddie, EDD, engage first, develop the conversation, go out to the people and find out how they can support this process and then make your decisions. And uh, there is a group of women in this country who have sent an open letter to the government and I'm not sure if they've seen it, so I'm going to quote from it directly. Over the past months, a number of Māori women have worked collaboratively, collaboratively across Aotearoa to raise issues regarding the documents released by the Crown and, um, related to restructuring of current child, youth and family services. We have strongly advocated against the development of a ministry that is based upon deficit approaches to tamariki. We have not been alone in such a position. Uh, which has been advocated by a range of organisations, including both previous and current Commissioner of Children. We re we, the recent announcement that the government will remove the requirement to prioritise the placement of tamariki with whānau is alarming to us. The associated statements of abuse and kin placements is largely reliant on unpublished report, which we believe raises critical issues in regards to how SIFS manages the placement of tamariki and mukapuna. Even Dame Tariana Tudia, 
He has said that these actions are a further act of institutionalised racism and that iwi leaders need to actively speak out against these reforms. And I join with that call, Mr Speaker. We must continue to care for our children, place them in loving and secure homes, but don't further harm them by alienating them from their identity. Kia ora. Kia ora.